an intense battle for robot supremacy. Kids at this summer camp at Stanford University are competing with robots they built themselves. It's very fun to like feel like you're an engineer because like the, all the programming, the building. This is one of several camps in Silicon Valley where kids learn about robotics using Lego Mindstorms kits. In Silicon Valley, you know, they love to take technology, modify it, uh, make kind of you know a do-it-yourself kind of culture here, uh, and the Lego NXT platform really you know gives to that. Uh, this is a Lego assembler. But these Lego kits aren't just for kids. Many Silicon Valley engineers grew up playing with them and still do. They're great toys for tinkering. Uh, if you're thinking about a hard problem and you just want to fiddle with things, it's great to have some Lego on your desk and, and uh, build things. Lego fans are eagerly awaiting the launch of the latest Mindstorm set on September 1st. At $350, Mindstorm's EV3 won't be cheap. But techies say it's a much more powerful system. <laughs> it's, got, it's running Linux. Um, you, can do, you can use the advanced sensors. Um, you can run more advanced programs because the processor is faster. For 11-year-old Callum Brown, there's only one way to learn about robotics. Yeah. Hands-on experience of actually building the robots. Not just learning about them and talking about them, but is to actually do them. A promising start for a budding engineer. Terry Che, Associated Press, Stanford, California. <laughs>